Hi, I will begin uh, this presentation. Uh, I'm Stokai from Stach. I'm happy to have this opportunity to speak here. Today, I would like to talk about uh, guide of uh, authentication and authorization for cloud native applications with Keycloak. First of all, uh, I will introduce myself. I'm Stokai, and I'm a software engineer at Stach and I'm a specialist in authentication and authorization. And I, uh, I engage in authentication and authorization technical support. Also, uh, I'm a contributor of Keycloak, which is Identity and Access Management OSS. I contribute to Keycloak, such as OS 2.0 device authorization grant, uh, performance improvement, security improvement for tokens. In addition, I'm a writer of web articles about IAM. I return the main topic. The contents as follows. First, I will explain importance of authentication and authorization. Then I introduce key clock. In addition, I introduce authentication for cloud native applications with key clock. Finally, I introduce authorization for cloud native applications with key clock. First, I explain importance of authentication and authorization. First, I, I will uh, explain what authentication and authorization are. First, authentication. Authentication is a process of verifying the user or client who or which is requesting API. As shown in the figure, uh, before authentication, the system does not who the user is. However, once authentic authenticated, the system knows who the user is. Second, authorization. Authorization is uh, the process of verifying if user can access the request API. As shown in the figure, uh, before authent authorization, the system does not know uh, whether the user can access the API. However, uh, authorized, the system knows whether the user can access the API. I experienced security risk about authentication and authorization. The security risk uh, are listed in, in uh, OASP top 10. API security. Uh, two security risks are listed in OASP 10 about authentication and authorization. Number one, broken access control. Number seven, uh, identification, authentication, failures. Moreover, uh, four security risks are listed in WASP top 10, API security, about authentication and authorization. Number one, uh, broken object level authorization. Number two, uh, broken authentication. Number three, uh, broken object property level authorization. Number five, uh, broken function level authorization. In this way, if you do not implement appropriate uh, authentication and authorization, it leads to serious security risk. Therefore, uh, it is important to minimize security risks by implementing appropriate authentication and authorization. Next, I introduce Keycloak. Keycloak is IAM OSS. And here, uh, I introduce three major features. And the first feature is to support standard specification, such as OS 2.0, OpenID Connect 1.0, uh, SAML 2.0. Second is logging with, to, uh, logging with social media, and such as GitHub and Facebook, and so on. I will explain this feature uh, in detail later. That uh, the third uh, feature is to connect to existing user stores, uh, such as LDAP and Active Directory. In addition, Keycloak has two advantages for cloud native environments. The first, environment, uh, first advantage is easy deployment, deployment on Kubernetes environment. There are two ways to deploy Keycloak in Kubernetes. And the first is uh, using Docker image. The second is using uh, Keycloak operator. 
The second, uh, the second advantage is that Keycloak is suitable for container environment. Keycloak changes base distribution from Wildfly to Caucus in November 2022. Then Keycloak starting has been fast from 30.5 seconds to 8.7 seconds. And memory consumption of Keycloak at starting has been less uh, from 407 megabyte to uh, 234 megabyte. Therefore, uh, quick scale, therefore, quick scaling is possible for key clock. From these two advantages, key clock is suitable for cloud native environments. One more important thing is that in April 2023, key clock joins CNCF as an incubating project. Keycloak uh, will be the standard IAM product for CNCF ecosystem. I actually mean have to minimize security risks, and that's I explained in previous slides. There are two important things to imp implement authentication and authorization, and to minimize security risks. First is supporting standard specification recommended by best current practice to protect from current attack methods. Second is continuing to support specifications recommended by new BCP to protect from new ever attack methods. This is because, uh, as shown in the figure, uh, attack methods evolve day by day, and without supporting BCP, it becomes difficult to prevent attacks. Keycloak uh, satisfies the above two important things. I will explain how Keycloak satisfies the above uh, two important things. First, I, exp I explain how Keycloak satisfies the first important things, that is uh, supporting specification, uh, uh, supporting uh, standard specifications recommended by BCP to protect from current attack methods. Keycloak adheres to the following standard, uh, standard specification. As shown in the figure, uh, Keycloak supports standard specification contained in BCP. Therefore, Keycloak satisfies the first important thing. Then I explain how Keycloak satisfies the second important thing, uh, continuing to support uh, speci standard specification recommended by new BCP to protect from uh, new evolved attack methods. Keycloak is quick to support the standard specification. And this is, this is because uh, Keycloak has all SIG, which implements security standard specification related to OOS or OpenID Foundation. Currently, uh, specialists of OOS SIG discuss implementing standard specifications once a month. Also, the number of OOS are GitHub for one year is 1311 and Keycloak ranked in seventh in terms of, fast, in terms of the fast growing contributes count. Therefore, uh, it is uh, expected that community including also SIG will continue to be active. So far, uh, I hope you understand that Keycloak can minimize security risks about authentication and authorization, and Keycloak suitable, uh, suitable <laughs> Uh, implementation for authentication and authorization uh, in cloud native environment. From here, uh, I will introduce authentication and authorization for cloud native application with Keycloak. First, I will introduce uh, authentication for cloud native application with Keycloak. The following functions are used in terms of authentication for cloud native applications. In this presentation, I will explain single sign-on, social login, multi-factor authenticator, authentication, and web author, and pass keys. Out of five authentication functions, the first function is single sign-on. Single sign-on is a system that allows you to use a multi-application with one login. Keycloak enables SSO by cookie authentication. 
Therefore, uh, users do not have to input and manage username and password for each application. The figure on the left illustrates the scenario uh, when single sign-on is not enabled. In the left figure, uh, user must access login screen, login screen of each cloud native application. The figure on the left uh, illustrates the scenario when single sign-on is enabled with a key clock. In the left figure, key clock provides same login experience in each cloud native application. From the above, a key clock improves user experience. Out of five authentication functions, the second function is social login. Social login is logging in service user account of social media. Key clock allows users to use account of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Microsoft, and so on. Therefore, users do not have to input user information such as name, address, email, telephone, telephone number, and password. On the other hand, users do not have to register user information. In addition, users do not have to manage uh, username and password. The figure on the barrel illustrates the scenario when users use account of GitHub or Facebook to log in in cloud native application with key clock. When users press login, press login with GitHub, uh, user access the GitHub login screen. And then user can log in with uh, user's GitHub account. The same applies when logging in with account of Facebook. Therefore, users can cloud native application without registering user information. From the above, key clock enhances user experience. Out of five authentication functions, the third function is match factor authentication. Match factor authentication is authenticating by using two or more of the following these three. First is something you know, for example, password. Second is something you have, for example, authenticator. Third is something you are, for example, fingerprint. And key clock authenticate using something you know and something you have. The figure on the below illustrates the scenario uh, when users log in, in using password and one time password with key clock. First, user register authenticator with key clock. User access login screen and inputs username and password. This is authenticated by something you know. When password authentication is successful, key clock return one time password screen. User input one time password displayed uh, in Google Authenticator. This is authenticated by something you have. When uh, one-time password authentication is successful, user can log in. Keycrock uh, prevents illegal authentication uh, even if attacks succeed in password authentication by attack methods such as directionary attack, uh, password list-based attack, brute force attack, and reverse brute force attack. The figure on the below illustrates the scenario and the attack uh, and now it's victim's username and password. Password authentication succeeds uh, because uh, attacker knows username and password. Attacker need to perform, uh, after password authentication, attacker need to perform one-time password authentication. But one-time password authentication fails because attacker does not have authenticator. In this way, uh, key clock prevents illegal login with MFA. Out of five authentication functions, the fourth function is uh, WebAuthn. WebAuthn uh, is authentication technology which it enables uh, password address authentication and MFA. Keycrock authenticate user without password. Therefore, users do not uh, need to remember complex password. 
Here, uh, I will explain how Keylock authenticates without password. First, uh, user, authentic user sends uh, authentication request to Keylock, and Keylock returns challenge at the user. Then, uh, user authenticates uh, with authenticator. For example, uh, fingerprint authentication and uh, facial authentication. Here, use uh, uh, fingerprint authentication. When fingerprint authentication is successful, authenticator signs challenge, and authenticator pass signature for challenge to Keylock. Keylock uh, authenticate by verifying the signature. This is authentication by something you have. When verification of signature is successful, user can log in. Also, uh, phishing can prevent in key log. Uh, the figure in the bro uh, illustrates the scenario attacker use phishing site. First, uh, attacker use uh, user to phishing site and the authenticator signs challenge. And second, authenticator pass signature for challenge to attacker. Third, attacker sends authentication request to Keycloak, and Keycloak returns challenge to attacker. Fourth, attacker sends signature obtained as second to Keycloak. And Keycloak uh, verifi verifies signature, but uh, signature verification fails uh, because the third challenge and fourth challenge are different. In this way, uh, Keycloak provides secure secu authentication to user. Out of function, uh, out of five functions, the fifth function is passkey. Passkey is authentication technology with synchronized credentials between multi-authenticators by cloud platform. Keycloak authenticates users with multi-authenticators. Therefore, uh, users use can, uh, therefore, users can use smartphones and PCs uh, as authenticator. The figure uh, on the barrel illustrates the scenario uh, when users use passkey with key clock. When user uh, lost or replaced smartphones, uh, user can use PC or new smartphone as authenticator without re registration. This is because credentials are synchronized. Key clock uh, improves user experience. In chapter three, I introduce authentication for cloud native applications with Keycloak. I hope you understand that Keycloak provides basic um, advanced authentication functions. Finally, I will introduce authorization for cloud native application with Keycloak. To support the following uh, standard specification is useful in terms of authorization for cloud native application. I will explain OS 2.0, uh, financial grade API 1.0, OS 2.0, device authorization grant. Out of three standard specification, the first standard specification is OS 2.0. OS 2.0 is de facto standard uh, about the issue of token which is essential for authorization. Keycloak issues token in compliance with OS 2.0. The figure on the below illustrates uh, the flow of OS 2.0. First, uh, user use client, and client, uh, sends, client sends authorization requests to Keycloak via the browser. Second, Keycloak is git uh, user authentication and authorization. Third, uh, Keycloak return authorization response to client via the browser. Uh, fourth, uh, client send token request to Keycloak because uh, client obtain access token. Access token is necessary to send API request. 
Yes, and key clock return token response include access token. Seven, six, uh, client sends API request with access token. Seventh, the XX service uh, verifies access token and returns API response. This is the flow of OS 2.0. However, uh, OS 2.0 is a standard specification with a high degree uh, of freedom. So uh, there is an issue that, is that uh, it is easy to create security holes. In fact, uh, there are attacks that cannot be prevented in OS 2.0. Out of three standard specification, the second standard specification is the financial grade API. FAPI 1.0 is high level security specification describing security secure usage of OS 2.0 and OpenID Connect 1.0. For example, Pixie is optional in OS 2.0, but Pixie is required in FAPI 1.0 to increase security. I will explain the demand for FAPI 1.0. FAPI 1.0 is expected to support it particular in the financial industry. The following is open banking is using FAPI 1.0. The first open banking in UK. Second, uh, consumer data right in Australia. Third, uh, open banking Brazil in Brazil. Fourth, uh, SMA open banking in Saudi Arabia. In this way, FAPI 1.0 is attracting attention globally. Key clock prevents attack that cannot be prevented in OS 2.0. Therefore, a user can use service securely. First, uh, I will explain attacks that cannot be prevented in OS 2.0. The figure, uh, the figure in the below uh, illustrates uh, these attacks that cannot be prevented in OS 2.0. First, uh, tempering of authorization request. Authorization requests are easily tempered in OS 2.0 because authorization requests are sent via browser. The second is uh, tempering of authorization response. Authorization response are easily tempered in OS 2.0 because authorization response are sent via browser. Authorization response. Uh, Third, and illegal use of API by stealing access token. There is no verification uh, of there is no verification of source of API request in OS 2.0. Therefore, if attacker steals access token, uh, attacker illegally use API. I will explain uh, how Keyglock prevents that three attacks that explained at previous trial. First is how to prevent tempering of authorization request. And first, uh, Keyglock requires client to sign authorization request. Therefore, if authorization request is tempered, Keyglock detects tempered by verifying the signature. Second is uh, authorization response. Uh, second is how to prevent tempering of authorization response. Keyclock signs authorization response. And therefore, if authorization response is tempered, client detects tempering by verifying the signature. That is how to prevent illegal use of API by stealing access token. Keyclock includes information of client certification in access token. Therefore, if attacker sends API request with access token, XX service can reject uh, access API request because XX service can, can note the valid source of API request from information of client certification in access token. In this way, uh, Keyclock provi provides secure authorization to users. 
Out of three standard specification, the third standard specification in OS 2.0 device authorization grant. OS 2.0 device authorization grant is designed for IoT device that either lack a browser or a input constraint text. Kick lock and execute authorization, even if client does not have browser. Therefore, users can use IoT device at client. The figure on the below illustrates the flow of OS 2.0 device authorization grant with key clock when users use smart TV as client. First, uh, client, uh, client use uh, smart TV as client. And client sends device authorization request to key clock. And second, key clock return device authorization response uh, with verification URL and user code. And client uh, displays verification URI and user code. Third, uh, user inputs verification URI into smartphone and access verification URI. While user is inputting URI, uh, Client continues to st send token requests to Keycrock at all regular intervals. Keycrock returns token response to client, but uh, user has not yet been authenticated and authorized. Token response does not include access token. And fourth, uh, user access verification URI with smartphone and user executes user and user code authentication and authorization. And fifth, after authentication and authorization are complete, client sends token request to Keycrock. Six, uh, Keycrock returns token response, include access token to client. Seventh, uh, client sends API request with access token to XX service. Eighth, XX service uh, return API response. To client. In this way, uh, Keycrock uses IoT device as clients. And since the number of IoT device is uh, likely to increase in the future, supporting all 2.0 device authorization grants will be important. In Chapter 4, I introduce authorization for cloud native applications with Keycrock. I hope you have understand uh, Keycrock supports uh, various standard specification. I will summarize this presentation. First, I explain importance of uh, authentication and authorization. Next, I introduce Keycrock. Keycrock joins CNCF as incubating project. So Keycrock will be the default standard of IAM product for CNCF ecosystem. Next, uh, I introduce authentication and authorization for cloud native application with Keycrock. For authorized authentication, single sign-on, social login, multi-factor authentication, web authentication, and passkey. For authorization, uh, OS 2.0, Papi 1.0, OS 2.0 device authorization grants. In this way, Keycrock supports a wide range of authentication features and authorization features. Finally, if you would like to know more about Keycrock, please see official document and GitHub and book written by the Keycrock project leader. Thank you for your attention. If there are any questions, I would be pleased to answer them.
client has not uh, monitored. <laughs> uh, in this uh, key clock has a uh, key clock execute not uh, key clock do not uh, execute uh, uh, authentication and authorization and uh, require monitor. Sorry, I could you repeat that one? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm unsure. <laughs> 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 